hello welcome back once again today too, we are going to look at how we can display our username and the picture user picture in front of the main form example now let me open the login form so the username here is do with me and the password is df 123 so when i log in saying this one is not what we want but the username should appear on top here and the picture should be here so i'm going to go to the design view do away with this logo all right so now when i open it there's n there's no picture here and we are going to make it automatic so that it will appear here. any user that logs in that user only if the user is having a picture the picture will be shown here so i'm going to close this one yes and i'll open the login go to the design view this one if it started so we've done part of it go to the login remember when we were coding the login form after when we got here i typed this one there i used the term vars keyword here and i told you to keep it because we will, be, we will be using it in the future so if you're able to do it then that's good but if you are not able to add that one then you have to add it so term vars the username that is the username on the user registration form the user login table so we are going to assign it to the username that we will enter in our login form the same thing so this one these are the condition if the user is not admin then you have to get the username when the user enters and the other option too so it's the same thing if the user is admin then now we have to also get it if not it will only work for non-admin users and the admin it will not work that's why you see 10 verse here and 10 verse here this one is for non-admin users and this is for admin users all right so if we're able to add that one then congratulations let's continue i'll close it and i'll close this one too we are going to do the work on the main form so i'll right click on the main form go to the design view so the design view it will be creating some will be working out here so this one let me bring this one to this side a bit and like let me open this one let's see to this side so i want more space And this one to come here all right i'm going to add okay let me open this one to to this side okay so i'm going to add a text box I press control as I click so that I don't want the label. So I'll click, I add it here and open it a bit. So here I'm going to format it. I want the text to be 12 and black. So let's make it bold too. And the alignment should be aligned right. I right click, fit it. All right. So now that this, we give it a name. The name is what txt user and we are going to give we are going to create another picture so we we'll select on image frame we draw it here here's where the our picture will be shown the easiest picture let me cancel it i'm not going to upload any picture here so just adjust it the way you want let me bring let me bring it closer here and this one to to bring it all right so this one now let's go to the uh, this one let me make some adjustment so here i'll select the two right click I'm going to select all of them because I want them to be in this position. So I right click and I go to anchoring, then 
top right yes so this one let me the format so the border color the border color i'll click on the three dots and i'll select this one so let me view it and we see all right so this is it this is it we have the picture and the username let's add about this one is just short code it's not it's not going to be any complicated or difficult so yeah you go to event no event you have to select the form or you can double click here to select the form then we come to unload so when it opens this one let's add the code is going to be me dot txt user is equal to tempvars so tempvars that will be user name user name now there's no error we we'll save it we close this one we close this one so let's open the main form now do with me when you don't enter any form it will only show the first user the first user name so that's what do with me is what showing all right now let's make some adjustments here there should be a space between yes so now the picture we are going to go to when you select the image frame then but before then let's come to format when you select the image come to format then you come to size mode this one is zoom so let's change the zoom to stretch because we want it to take over the container now let's go to data so the control source I'll click on the three dots here to open it. Now it's going to you are going to use lookup to get the you are going to use lookup to get the value of the image. So it's going to be equal to then NZ the lookup account picture from the user login where username is equal to and txt user and sign then if nothing shows should be out and let's close that one now save it let's view it all right so now here comes our user picture so let me do away with the border here this one should come down a bit and come to format back style transparent i press t then border style i press t transparent when i come to data i have to lock it and yes so that is it let's be wait and see so it has to come down because i want it to align at the bottom of the all right so align to bottom all right now let's save it let's view it all right so now you can close it open the login so i'm going to open the let me check the other users access do it access the asdfjk all right so now let me open that user do it access then password is the fjk now let me log in all right seeing the username and the user picture is showing here now let me log out do it me is the f 
Now let me log in. All right. So that is it. This is how you can when uh, this is how you can let your username and the profile picture appear on the main form. Now we draw the curtain on the user login system. Please, if you have any question, any suggestion, you can put it on the table. The next video we are going to, I'm going to start with you, is to someone requested of the designing examination management, whereby students can answer questions or write exams using access. And that's the next project I'm going to start with you. So please, if you find this video helpful and interesting, kindly subscribe like it then click on the notification bell you can also share it to others who also benefit from it so if you're not subscribed kindly subscribe for me until we meet again take care and bye bye